Well, a British company is offering a safer alternative to the sometimes dangerous kerosene lamps widely used in the developing world. The electric power device is called Gravity Light and costs just $5. It uses the force of gravity to keep the lights on. VOA's Paul Diho tells us all about it. A UK-based firm believes its electric device are powered by gravity could provide cheap and safe illumination for hundreds of millions of people around the world who live off the electric grid. The design and innovation firm Deswat.org designed the gravity light as a sustainable lighting solution. They say it's cheaper than solar power and safer than kerosene fuel. So the product consists of the generator ambient light unit, it's shipped in um, a very robust bag which takes ballast. Uh, you take it out of its bag, you fill this bag with gravel, whether that be uh, aggregate, sand, soil. You attach the bag, you hang the product, and when you lift the, pr the bag, then you have your light source. Reeves adds that a three-second pull on the rope to raise the sack is all that is required. It's generating power as the bag falls back down towards the ground, and you can adjust how fast or slow that bag descends depending on your power requirement. Um, the general ambient light level, you can have 30 minutes of ambient light, um, which is at a relatively low power level, but if you want to increase the brightness or the intensity, you can reduce that duration, meaning that you'll be doing more lifts, but that will become every sort of 20 minutes or so, and you can have a more intense um, light output. Many people living off the electric grid rely on kerosene fuel for lighting once the sun goes down, but it's expensive. Buying kerosene for lighting can consume up to a fifth of a household's income. In addition, the fuel is extremely hazardous. The World Health Organization, WHO, says that those who breathe kerosene fumes inhale the equivalent of smoking two cigarettes per day. It also poses a serious fire risk. The gravity lighter throws out less light than most solar-powered devices, but the team says it could be used by consumers as a bridging technology. With no running costs after the initial low cost patches, the company believes has the potential to lift people out of poverty, allowing them to save money to buy more powerful solar lighting systems in the future. Martina Redford, Gravity's co founder, says the device could be a godsend for poor rural communities. The trouble with solar technology is that you have to um, charge a battery with the solar power that you've gained from the sun um, and then you use the battery power to power the LEDs at night. Um, in Africa, there is a problem with um, the cost of units. Uh, so it's, it was really important to find a way, the cheapest way of supplying um, light um, reasonable quality light to, to these people. With the 55,000 US dollars initially requested, they had promised to fund the manufacture of a thousand gravity powered lights for free distribution to impoverished communities in Africa and in India. Reeves wants those initial users to provide his team with feedback on the device in order for the team to refine the product third of the world's population is off-grid. So you've got large communities across Africa and India and South America and even Northern Europe and into Russia where power is either intermittent or absent um, and there is a requirement for the product. So we wanted to take a large number of the devices out to the intended end users, get feedback on how the product would perform in the field, um, get feedback from the users as to whether or not the device met their needs and whether or not further developments were required. The UK best product design consultants Therefore.com says there are currently more than 1.5 billion people in the world without access to electricity. Paul Ndiho, VOA News.